Hello developers, welcome back to another video. Today, I will show you how to perform CRUD operations without writing a single line of code in Laravel. You will only need to create the model class. There's no need for a controller class for that model. So, let's dive into how we can accomplish this. For this demonstration, let's assume we are creating banks. First, we'll create a model for a bank and simultaneously create a migration for it. Now let's add fields to the migration file. For now, we will only add the name field, which will be unique. To allow mass assignment, add guarded as an empty array. Next, let's migrate our database. Now update articles to banks to view our list of banks. Currently we see no banks because we haven't created any yet. Change articles to banks to create a new bank. Provide a bank name and click the send button. We encounter a request class not found message because we haven't created a request validation class. So let's create a request class to validate our requests. Open the store bank request file. Set this to true. Add the required and unique validations for the name field. We're receiving a name field is required validation message because we forgot to include the name field in the form data. Great, we've created our first bank. Now let's take a look at our bank list. Good, the list is displaying. Let's check if we can retrieve a single bank. This endpoint is working fine for retrieving a single bank. Now let's attempt to create another bank with the same name. we receive an error message stating that the name has already been taken. Because we've applied unique validation in our request file, we can't create a duplicate bank. Now let's create another bank. Let's view the bank list again. Great. Now we'll attempt to update one of our banks. We'll update the second bank. Here, we encounter a request class not found message, indicating the need to create a request file for validating our update request.
Let's add the required and unique validations here. We'll use the ignore method to skip checking the current bank for duplicate data. We're attempting to update our second bank with data from the first bank, which is why we're getting this error message. Now, change the bank name and click the send button. The bank has been successfully updated. Let's view the list again. Great, our bank has been updated. Now, let's try to delete a bank. Great, the bank has been deleted. Let's view the bank list again. Finally, we see only one bank in our list. So now, let's explore how to develop this dynamic CRUD functionality in Laravel.